This is Confessions of a Refashionista. Hi, hi, and welcome to part two of Heike's Refashionista Makeover. If you missed part one, feel free to click the link below and head on over and check it out. But let's get started right now refashioning those three garments, blazer, sweater, and dress that Heike chose for her refashionista makeover. And then we're gonna do her hair and we're gonna do her makeup and she's just gonna look gorgeous. Let's get started. Three tutorials coming at you right now. So first we're gonna start with the blazer. Now the shoulder pads aren't terribly huge, but they are big enough that they kind of make the sleeve holes here a little bit tight around Heike's arms. So I figured if we remove the shoulder pads, it should loosen up these holes enough that uh, it's not so constricting on her upper arms. So I'm just going to grab my seam ripper and kind of figure out where the shoulder pads are located and oh so carefully <laughs> open up these seams. Okay, now I'm going to see <laughs> If I can try to manage to pull the shoulder pads out of the tiny hole I've created without causing any more damage. So all of this was once in here and I did manage actually not to have to open the hole too much more in order to get all of this shoulder pad out. So now all I have to do is kind of reform the shoulder. Look at that. No more shoulder pad. And grab a needle and thread and go ahead and carefully stitch the hole closed. Ta-da! Now all I have to do is head on over and repeat the whole process on the other side. But uh, yeah, it really looks a lot better already. La la! And totally lovely and flat. No more shoulder pads at all. And uh, these sleeve holes actually increased in width, like over a full centimeter. So that is awesome. And it should fit Heike so much better now. So there you go. Easy, easy, easy method for uh, upsizing a blazer if you need to have a bit more space in the arms. And moving right along, up next on the Refashionista shopping block is this uh, groovy and oh-so-beautiful sweater that Heike had had for a few years and never worn because it was an awkward length. It was, you know, too long to be worn as a sweater and uh, too short to be worn as a tunic. So I'm going to go ahead and make it her perfect length. So because this is such a delicate knit, I have my fingers crossed that it's not going to unravel as I uh, chop it off to hike its perfect length, plus a couple more centimeters for seam allowance. So now once the sweater was chopped to hike its desired length, I just went ahead and gave it a lovely lettuce hem. Now how I do that on my plain old regular sewing machine is just by simply using a zigzag and stretching the knit as I stitch, which causes it to kind of ruffle up into this groovy, you know, lettuce pattern. I also gave it a triple hem, meaning, uh, you know, I folded it under once, went around twice, went around three times, and went all the way around. Now, you don't have to do that, but I just like to because I'm a bit paranoid about fraying when I'm sewing knits, so I always like to give it a really, really sturdy hem. And uh, yeah, I think it came out super cute. And for the grand finale, I'll be refashioning Heike's dress that, if you remember, she had already in Germany for two years with the tag still on it. Now, it is an adorable, ditzy, floral pattern dress, However, Hike is not really keen on the elastic uh, here on the sleeves. And also, it's such a dark color, it really kind of stands out a bit too much. As well as uh, the ribbon belt, we're going we're gonna to replace that with a nice light colored uh, something. Let's figure that out as we go along. <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's get started refashioning. So first, I'm just going to simply pull the belt out. 
So because this fabric is quite light and airy and viscosey, and I'm pretty sure it's going to fray, instead of going ahead and meticulously unpicking these, uh, you know, armbands from the end of the sleeves, I'm just going to go ahead, grab my scissors, and chop them off. Once I had those armbands chopped off, I went ahead and gave the sleeves a nice clean hem. Now let's go ahead and get embellishing. So for the past couple days, I've been asking you guys across my social media accounts which gorgeous bit of vintage lace I should use to embellish the fancy new sleeves. And overwhelmingly, you responded this one. So let's go ahead and stitch this beautiful vintage lace onto the sleeve cuffs and get this dress finished. How gorgeous are those sleeves now? Such an improvement over those dark elastics that were there before. And check out what I replaced that dark ribbon belt with. Voila, some lovely soft cotton rope that I had in my stash that coordinates beautifully with the dress and the fancy new sleeves. Now let's head on over to Heikus and get her makeover started. Yo, we are back with Heike for part two of her awesome wardrobe refashionista makeover. And this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different and I'm actually going to attempt to do Heike's makeup. But I'm gonna be following my tutorial. So I'll put a link to that below so you guys can kind of, you know, see what products I use and uh, yeah, if you like the look, you can duplicate it yourself. So, my darling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's get started. makeup is looking stunning. We just have to do the lippy before, you know, she heads out. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to try my hand at waving her hair and we're going to see how this little machine uh, works. Yeah. yeah let's, see. let's get to it. Gorgeous! What do you think, Heike? Oh, I love it! <laughs> oh, that fits so much better! It's so much looser and more oh, comfy now. Yes, it's not pulling anymore under your arms. It's fabulous. It is so perfect. Look at this! Isn't that beautiful? It is. Normal size. Normal like, size. <laughs> not too long, it's so better. Awesome. Perfect, perfect. And again, it goes like absolutely perfectly with the dress. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. Oh, and tonight you're heading out to a funky concert, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to a rock concert after like two years, my first concert oh, in Toronto. With I'm your so fancy new look. What I'm going to wear. Yay! <laughs> Heike is so in love with her groovy refashionista makeover and if you're in the Toronto area and you would love to have me come over and give you a confessions of a refashionista makeover be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be in touch or head on over to my blog confessions of a refashionista at awesomesawesasshattery.com and uh, send me an email that way and we'll see what we can do. Yay! If you like my videos, be sure to always click that little like button down there. Leave a comment and let me know if you have any groovy ideas for refashioning tutorials that you would love to have me try out. Um, and as always, head on over to my social media, to my blog, Confessions of a Refashionista, Refashionista Sherry, and subscribe, follow, and uh, yeah. Until next time, I'll catch ya on the zigzag.